Hello and welcome to my A to Z general knowledge and trivia quiz. There are 26 questions. The answer to number one will begin with the letter A. The answer to number two will begin with the letter B. Down to 26, which will begin with the letter Z. I hope you enjoy and good luck. It's a tricky one this week. Beginning with A. Who directed the films Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Life of Pi and Brokeback Mountain? They were all directed by Ann Lee. Beginning with B, Siddhartha Gautama is also known as the blank. Fill in the blank. He's also known as the Buddha. Beginning with C, what does the CRT in CRT television stand for? Cathode ray tube. Beginning with D, what is another name for breakbone fever? It's also known as dengue fever. Beginning with E, the study of the origin and history of words is called what? Etymology. Beginning with F. Coco Hernandez, Bruno Martelli, and Lisa Monroe were characters in which 1980s film musical? Fame. Beginning with G. Author R.L. Stein is best known for writing which series of horror novels, which led to a TV series and two films? to enjoy this when I was a kid, it is Goosebumps. Beginning with H. Beginning approximately 11,700 years ago, following the end of the last ice age, what is the name of the current geological epoch? Holocene. Beginning with I. The national flag of which country features the image of a 24-spoke wheel? India Beginning with J, also a girl's name, what is the title of the song used in the intro to the TV show Top Gear? Jessica. Beginning with K, named after a famous German astronomer, what was the name of the space telescope launched by NASA in 2009 to discover Earth-sized planets orbiting other stars? The answer is Kepler. Beginning with L, which flowering plant is named after the Latin word for wolf? Lupin. Beginning with M, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings is a 1969 autobiography by which American writer and poet? Maya Angelou. Beginning with N, which four letter word is given to the area at the back of the neck? is the nape. Beginning with O, the Washington Monument and Cleopatra's Needles are types of what structure? Obelisk. Beginning with P, who is the main antagonist in Stephen King's It?
Pennywise. Beginning with Q, still spoken by millions of people in the Andean region today, what was the official language of the Incan Empire? And very well done if you said Quechua. Beginning with R, which breed of dog, known for the distinctive strip of hair running along its back in the opposite direction to the rest of its coat, was originally bred to hunt lions? That is the Rhodesian Ridgeback. Beginning with S, which cocktail consists of vodka and fresh orange juice? That is a screwdriver. Beginning with T, in the Star Trek universe, what does the T in the name James T. Kirk stand for? Tiberius. Beginning with U, Franz Schubert's Symphony No. 8 in B minor is also known by what other name? It's also known as the Unfinished Symphony. Beginning with V, phlebitis is a disease that causes inflammation of what? Veins. Beginning with W, which Pixar character fell in love with a robot called Eve? That was Wally. Beginning with X, a mammogram is a type of what? It's a type of X-ray. Beginning with Y, out of a possible three, name any capital city that begins with the letter Y. And please do not use Yaron, as it is not an official capital. So if you said anyone from Yamasukro, Yerevan or Yuande, you have the point. Beginning with Z, in Greek mythology, who is the god and personification of the West Wind? is Zephyrus. I will also accept Zephyr. And now for this week's bonus question, the answer begins with a number. Which number links the number of strands of hair on Homer Simpson's head, the number of countries that share a land border with Paraguay, and the number of fates in Greek mythology? And if you think you know the answer, or you'd like to have a guess, tell me in the comments below. That's the end of the quiz. Thank you for taking the time to play. I do hope you had fun. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button, and to subscribe, click on the logo. Have a wonderful day. Thanks again, and bye-bye.